Something terrible happened to Voyager in its final moments. What did it find? On board one of NASA's most recognizable spacecraft of the 20th century, the Voyager, something odd is happening. One has been flying for about 50 years and is still going strong since it is a certified space. Beautiful pictures and important data from interstellar space have been returned by the expedition. Voyager 1 appears to be broadcasting unusual signals from outside the solar system, which is an unexpected turn of events, and experts are perplexed as to why. After 45 years in orbit, is Voyager 1 now displaying symptoms of wear and tear, or is there another reason? Join us as we examine the most recent deep space enigma that experts have been pondering for the past few days. On September 5, 1977, four months after the original Star Wars movie debuted in theaters, NASA launched the Voyager one space probe. According to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory's online mission status, Voyager 1 is approaching 14.5 billion miles from Earth and traveling at a speed of around 38,000 miles per hour, the furthest away intentionally created item that has ever existed. In 2012, the Voyager 1 spacecraft is now traveling through intercellular space. It passed past the ponds of Helio, the interstellar medium, which is made up of all the stuff and radiation in the space between solar systems, and the galaxy is separated from the sun's solar winds by the Helio pulse. This indicates that Voyager 1 is directly in the cosmic void of the Milky Way. However, the spacecraft is still in the sun's gravitational pull and has not yet left the solar system. Scientists anticipate that Voyager 1 will soon be able to to depart Earth's orbit and venture far further into space. However, as it goes further, it gets older. It has recently been traveling across space at a speed of around 3.6 Earth-Sun distances per year. It is now 14.5 billion miles away as a result of this. The first Voyager spacecraft was launched on September 5, 1977. The robotic twin of the Voyager 2 arrived two weeks later. To reach the outer planets, they initially traveled in the same direction. But after passing past Saturn in 1980 and 1981, they turned in different directions. Voyager 1 has a major, though. NASA is unclear of the probe's orientation since part of the data it transmits back to Earth is unreliable. If you are aware of the plotless Star Trek movie which came out two years after Voyager 1 was launched, you might be alarmed. You could be considering whether this is comparable to the powerful space storms that wipe out spaceships and then require a human sacrifice to stop the bleeding. However, NASA claims that there are no alarming calls that will soon be handled by businesses. Famous, agonizing, and embarrassingly lengthy establishing shots. Voyager, all things considered. One is outperforming expectations. Voyager 1's outdated equipment must, nevertheless, be able to care for itself. As Voyager passes the edge of our cosmic lake, where the sun's magnetic field interacts with the interstellar medium, things might happen in ways that have yet to be fully understood. Here in the Interland, there is a treasure of cosmic knowledge that is just waiting to be discovered. The computer signal that directs Voyager 1's antenna toward returns erroneous number sequences like rows of zeros. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 project managers and 38 year veterans are in charge. As her first job after graduation, Susan Dodd began working on the spacecraft in 1984 to investigate what was happening with this far-off mission. The Voyager 1 is quite autonomous when it comes to identifying issues and placing itself in a secure environment. However, it hasn't activated any kind of forced protective mode, indicating that everything is good with the spaceship other than the fact that it has begun speaking a language other than English. We don't comprehend for some reason one of three on the spacecraft. This computer keeps Voyager 1 oriented in the right direction by running the thrusters and maintaining the high-gain antenna directed at Earth so that information about the interstellar medium can keep trickling in. Because the crew can control the spacecraft and because the signal strength 
and absence of fault protection activation are both strong, it is obvious that Voyagellon is operating effectively. The engineers claim that, for the most part, the AACS appears to be operating as designed. The information sent back to Earth is thus false. We haven't yet identified what is causing the telemetry data to be jumbled or unintelligible DOD's advertisements in its interface with the flight data system. For instance, some of the data looks to have been created randomly. The telemetry signal itself is nonsensical, producing 370, or all zeros, making ensuring the Voyager 1 high-gain antenna is pointed in the right direction is one of the AACS's key duties. The good news is that because the signal is still as strong as it has always been, NASA believes the antenna is still in the right place. However, claiming that the signal is as powerful as ever is relative given that it takes two days to transmit a command to Voyager 1 and receive a response which is to be anticipated given the distance. Light travels between Earth and the probe at its present distance every 20 hours and 33 minutes, according to Susan. God, the subsequent step of the problem's diagnosis, will be split into two sections. Discovering the abnormalities cause is the first step. We'll be able to choose what to do next if we can do that. She says that we can reset anything or utilize some of the backup equipment because even 45 years later, these systems still have redundancy. However, they have challenges because it will be years before they see any outcomes. Voyager 1 circuits, design, and construction were likely created by individuals who have since retired or passed away. In such circumstances, what may be, both Voyager 1 and 2 are about 45 years old, which is much older than what the mission planners anticipated said. We're also in inter stellar space which has never been traveled through by a spacecraft before and has a severe radiation environment. There are so many significant obstacles facing the technical team, but I am certain that our team will find a means to address this AACS related issue. There is a potential that we won't be able to determine what caused this anomaly and in that event we will proceed cautiously with steps to resume regular operations. We might never be able to resolve these telemetry problems, she adds. The only problem left is adjusting to the unusual but not fatal new world. Would you not? Because it is more challenging for scientists to move cautiously when they don't know what the abnormality is. They have to take a more cautious approach to avoid putting the spacecraft in danger and thereby jeopardizing the voyage as mission. Dodd added that, in the worst case scenario, if her team is unable to fix the issue, everyone will just have to get used to it. Regardless, daily scientific data transmissions from Voyager 1 continue, and there are no signs that the project will soon come to an end. When Voyager 1 switches to radioisotope, thermoelectric generators in 2025, some experts think it will still be able to communicate data. Even if Voyager 1 is found to be nearing the end of its life sooner than expected, RTGS will no longer be able to provide enough energy to keep the spacecraft functioning. It has been on an amazing journey. As it was being sailed by Jupiter's and Saturn's satellites, it took extensive pictures and collected a staggering quantity of data. It is commonly known that the Golden Record was aboard both Voyages spacecraft. The Golden Record is a pair of compact yet potent photodisks that provide knowledge on Earth's many customs and ways of life for extraterrestrial civilizations who could come across and comprehend it. The evidence for human life on Earth is included in the Golden Record. It has everything, including Mozart and Chuck Berry songs as well as the sounds of nature. In fact, the Voyager and Probe spacecraft have traveled so far into space that researchers have detected the hum of our solar system as they pass past it. Meanwhile, NASA has confirmed that Voyager 2 is still functional. Compared to Voyager, Voyager 2 is just 
just roughly 12 billion miles away from Earth, 14 billion miles separate one, at around 34,400 miles per hour, it is traveling at a pace that is about 3,600 miles per hour slower than Voyager 1. Voyager 2 may be slowing down or may simply be unwilling to leave us alone. Voyager the second of may have emotional intelligence. That will be a major worry. We appreciate you watching our new Voyager episode. Please click the video on your screen to view more astounding space videos while you are still here.